God, it's cold today. I mean, it probably doesn't help that I've just had a week in Lanzarote at 30 degree temperatures, but my God, it's freezing. But today we're gonna to be doing a quick wash on the Suzuki Swayze. Hi, so welcome back. And at the time of recording, this is January, hence the very, very cold weather. And you're watching this now at the end of February. We're just coming up to springtime. So hopefully some good weather to come. Anyway, you may remember back in November, we went down to KDS and we did a full detail on the Sways with Geotechnic products, giving it a coat of Crystal Serum Ultra at the end and some XOV4. And as I said, we'll do a year long diary. So this is now the second month in and the everything was done, let's say in November and at the time of recording it's January. So yeah, this is wash number two on the Swayze. And today we're gonna to be focusing mainly on the citrus all purpose cleaner. So you may remember last month, we did a bit of a product highlight on the citrus foam. I'm gonna go through some of the products basically in the order that you would probably use them. So this month we're gonna be looking at the citrus all purpose cleaner. Anyway, enough talking, let's get straight out there, crack on, and I'll uh, talk you through some of this in a moment. So before we get into the detail then and talk about the W5, I just want to show you the water behavior after a month's worth of dirt on the car. As you can see, we're still getting a lot of beading and sheeting on the uppers. It's just the lower parts that we're struggling to see any water behavior, and that is simply because of the thick layer of grime on there, which the citrus cleaner will make light work of. So no before shots, the car's just covered in water. You can't really see how dirty it is, but trust me, the car's not been washed for a month since the last one, in fact, and it's done quite a bit of driving in that time as well. So it is actually quite dirty. And once again, I'm not really gonna be touching the wheels. I'm going to be leaving those for next month when we're probably gonna look at the iron and general fallout remover. So they will have really been given a bit of a battering by then. But anyway, the W5 Citrus All Purpose Cleaner can be used basically for all purposes. It's a great product. Most companies will have something like this in their lineup and they are very, very versatile. So if you're just getting new into detailing and you're wondering what to use, always make sure you've got some all-purpose cleaner in your collection. The W5 Citrus All-Purpose Cleaner from G-Technic then is biodegradable and it removes road grime with ease and can be used for many other purposes for engine cleaning all the way up to cleaning your carpets and everything in between. So you can dilute this as well. You can use it neat as I say for something like engine degreasing or if you've got really stubborn marks on the wheels or in the arches, something that you've neglected for some time, use it neat. You can dilute it down as low as 10 to one as well for softer removal. So maybe some light soiling on the carpets, cleaning your rubbers and trim work every month. Yeah, you'd go with that. And then you could go in a halfway at like a five to one mix for grime, let's call it grime. So you probably spray that all over the lower parts of the car, particularly over the winter, just to soften up the grime before you apply some citrus foam over the top of that. Once you've applied it to the areas, just let it sit and dwell for three to five minutes. And then if you need to, just agitate with a soft bristle brush or a microfiber cloth. It all depends on the purpose you're using. So in this instance here, I'm cleaning the door rubbers and the trim work. I will just go round with the 10 to one mix and a nice soft brush to make sure you don't scratch any of the surrounding paintwork, but that you also get away any crud that's embedded into those door rubbers. So once again, I just like to say thank you to G Technic for sending out these products to basically keep on top of this car and maintain it. As I say, this is a year long diary. If you are enjoying this kind of content, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment below as well if you think I should do more of these kind of videos or is there anything else in particular that you would like to see. Anyway, enough about the W5 Citrus All Purpose Cleaner. Let's carry on with the wash stage and check out the after shots because as I say, that's what we're here for. We're doing a diary. We're gonna be doing a real world diary on this and just making sure that these coatings do last. So yeah, let's crack on with the rest of the detail. Here I'm just showing you the water behavior after just the W5 Citrus Cleaner. Stupidly, I forgot to get a shot of the lowers at this stage, but trust me at the end, after we've gave it a wash, you'll see how it's all come back to life. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video. Also, if you are enjoying this, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.
So that's the second wash on the Swayze now, and just, wow, it still amazes me, the coating. So you give it a quick rinse, it looks flat, it looks dead. I know in my mind that it's just a build up of dirt. I go ahead and yes, the W5 Citrus All Purpose Cleaner does help bring some of that life back to the coating. Obviously it's unclogging the coating and removing some of the dirt. So straight away you see an improvement, but then once you've washed it with the G-Wash, I mean, damn, it just beads and sheets like the day it was applied at KDS. It's absolutely amazing, this stuff so far. So this is a real world test as well. And if you've not watched the entire series or you've not watched this series so far, the reason we're doing this is because normally Crystal Serum Ultra, it's a premium option from a lot of detailers and you kind of think, well, it's going on a premium car, whether it's a weekend toy or a supercar that's kept in a garage. It's never normally, you don't normally see it on a daily driven car like a Suzuki Swayze, which is basically a Toyota Corolla. You don't really see it, you don't think of that. So yeah, it's a real world example of a car that's left out in the elements all the time, driven all the time. Yeah, just see if it lives up to the bold claims. And as I say, yes, we're only two months in, but it, it's just acting like the day it was applied. So, so far really impressed. So once again, thanks very much to G Technic for sending this out. Today we've only used the W5, the W4 and the G Wash. Quickly, just touch on the G-Wash, I use three capfuls in a bucket. It says two for lightly soiled and four for heavily soiled. I went midway, so I used three. And that was really, really foamy. That may be next month, so I've not yet decided what I'm gonna do in February or March when you watch this. But we're either gonna be going for the next video is either gonna focus on the G-Wash or the W6. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see what state the wheels are in. The wheels may be desperate by that point, so I may have to jump to the W6. But yeah, <laughs> so far it's going great. If you're enjoying this series and the past series, if you've not watched that, I'll put a link to that up here, there. Um, make sure you also like this video and subscribe. It really, really does help us out. I know a lot of you that have watched the last series really enjoy that and find a lot of stuff useful. Be massively appreciated if you could share that as well, whether it's on Reddit, your Facebook, your Instagram, wherever you go, yeah, share it. It really, really does help us out. Anyway, that's it for now then. So as I say, if you enjoy this, smash that like button. I'll put a subscribe icon around here and a couple of videos down here that I think you may enjoy. So yeah, we'll see you next month for an update on this and we'll see you next week with another regular video.